Welcome back everybody, this is MDog, and we are fishing at Volkov today. So I have a limited amount of time. Normally with my work, I don't know when work's going to start, but today I actually know. And so we've got a little bit of a shorter amount of time than usual, but I thought we could still get a few minutes in on this spot. We are at Volkov, 71-100, casting about 25 meters, sort of towards the end of the train track over there. And um, so we're using caddisfly on two and bark beetle on one. Now the caddisfly, uh, this first rod, there's a roach. Uh, I did want to point out that I have a very small hook. Most people are probably using much bigger hooks, but I'm trying to have one line set up to potentially catch some wide eye bream, which you do need a much smaller hook for typically, but the second and third rod, I do have more, I would say like normal size hooks for what we're doing here. Uh, this one, we've got an eight with the bark beetle larva. And then I think I have a six on the third one, which is also caddis fly. I'm using just random old ground bait that I've used to fish for blue bream in the past. I'm um, just trying to go through some old stacks of ground bait. I mean, I'll show you what's on this, but I'm not suggesting. And there's a white eye. So the white eye actually came in on the larger hook. So maybe we can increase the hook size of the first one. So for some people, if you are, if you care about qualifications, which I never even think about qualifications, but I know some people care about them. And one of the ones that can be a little tricky is catching the wide eye trophy on the feeder or picker rod. Uh, so that was part of my thinking here was to see if this smaller hook would maybe catch a little more frequent wide eye bream if you're trying to go for that qualification, which apparently I already have that at some random point. I don't even remember, but so far this seems like a very good bite rate. Primarily what you're gonna catch here is roach. But you should, if things go well, occasionally see uh, a blue bream or a white eye bream or a vimba even. And I'll check what the weekly vimba are biting on. We might switch baits to try to target vimba some. Um, but 71-100 at Volkov is often this way where you can catch several of the different smaller bream species and then things like roach as well. So this is that one random ground bait and I guarantee you when this stack runs out and I find another one to put on it'll probably be a completely different recipe and there's another roach all right so let's find something else I usually have them titled under blue because a lot of times we're focusing on blue bream um, I like these down here too, though. These are for white and blue bream. Why don't we throw these on? Let's see, there's four portions left on that one. Let's try these for a bit. And see how that goes. But if you are, um, again, needing any of these types of things for qualifications, uh, or if you're trophy hunting for some of these smaller bream species, a lot of times this spot is where you want to try. And um, if you're a sort of mid-level player, maybe don't quite have the gear for some of the carp fishing and other stuff yet, when spots like this pop up, it's often worth doing. It's not going to be, you know, um, killer silver, but it's also not going to tear up your gear. And the more blue bream you catch or vimba, the higher that rate of silver is going to be. And it's just fun because there's a lot of different species that are coming in right now. Oh my goodness. Okay. So maybe just like a giant roach. I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Um, I guess that's a good point. We could catch bream here, especially at night. Sometimes the bream are active. Oh, this is a chub. Yeah, you hate to see the chub. They can be scary. Mm, switch to one of these. Now, 
Now, if you do have picker rods, like I'm using my feeder, my Bunis and feeders, this would definitely be a good spot to use picker rods. There's another white eye. Uh, just because of how small the fish are. And so the more sensitive picker rods would pick up the bites a lot better. Got a little wind picking up here. Yeah, so the white eyes are definitely, they definitely seem like they're around. And when they're around, it's just a matter of patiently waiting for that trophy to show up if that's the qualification you need. This happens a lot with white eyes though. You'll see a lot of less than marker size. It's hard to like focus in on getting the big ones consistently. And I mean, they'll come in every once in a while, but Just a nibble. Guess we could put the quiver tips down to fourteen grams. Might help a little bit. Yeah, the ideal would be to put use use um, pickers here, I think. Yeah, let's check out the Vimbas. I know the weekly blue bream are on the two baits we're using. But we haven't seen one yet. That is a time of day thing. Blues tend to come in early in the morning, like right after sun up. There's a Vimba. I was just going to check the weeklies on those. Uh, and then... Sometimes like late afternoon, early evening, like now, during the day, you often won't see them at all, I feel like. So blue bream are kind of streaky like that. Vimba can be too, though. You'll see Vimba come through, you'll catch a bunch, then you won't see any for a while. So the bark beetle larva especially, but caddis fly a little bit too. I don't necessarily want to throw night crawlers out with this current gear we're using, just with the risk of burbot or catfish even. But it looks like Vimba is another fish that's seemingly pretty active here right now. But especially with the white eye bream, if you're having a hard time hitting the trophy, it seems like sometimes the answer on some of these really small species is to actually go smaller hook size. 
I don't know that that's always the case, but at least do a variety if, if that's really what you're going for, those little wide eyes. Don't just put the big hooks out there, I don't think. I don't know. The, the wide eyes are way more active, I think, than they typically are right now. If that's what you're needing, this might be a great time to go for it. I, I just figured we'd have a lot higher percentage of common roach than what we're actually seeing. Surely that's a roach nibbling like that. Another white eye, I think. Vimba. If you get on a good run of Vimba, or like I said, Blue Bream, you will make a, a significantly more silver compared to if you have a higher, you know, huge rate of, of common roach. I'm not even sure that the white eye bream are worth that much. I think it really is the blues and the Vimbas out of the species we're catching or could catch here that are worth more silver. Would love for this to be a Vimba, but I guess it's more likely a roach or something. Oh, it's another chub. They need to go away. I think our the smaller hook has actually been a slower bite rate. Maybe it's so small that it's been off-putting to some fish. Got to change the quiver tip. I 
think all of our Vimba have been markers, which is kind of cool. So much for all the Vimba, huh? I don't know what it is. It's just this right line. Catching all the chub over here on the right side. our first blue that's big time in it there and again time of day thing it finally got late enough that the blue bream decided to show up a little bit and that's what you want if you can you know sit here for a an hour and just get three or four solid blue bream and then a handful of Vimba maybe. I mean, again, it's not going to be too bad a silver. It's going to be pretty good actually. I think in the past I maybe have had the best success with blue bream on like 10 to 12 hooks. Um, these size six and eight hooks that we're using is maybe a little bit more set up to catch the big roach, the big Vimba maybe. I, I don't think, I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking about this might go a little smaller if you want to try to focus the blue bream which you know is probably going to be your best silver overall 
Sometimes the blue bream are preferring algae. So you could try algae in this spot right now, but if they're coming in good on the bark beetle and the caddisfly, that's certainly those baits are a lot cheaper since you can uh, just purchase them for silver in the store instead of having to gathering them up. See if we can get like one more fish. But I do need to go get ready for work here. See how, we'll see how busy work is tonight. My hope is to at least get um, a leveling video done later tonight. And then if there's time, I'll come back and either do this a little bit more or find another sort of hot spot to check out. Somebody asked if there's anything good to, to fish for at night at Belaya with feeders. And everyone in chat, of course, is saying burbot. I do think that's the the most reliable answer to try. Is it there a, every once in a while? Does bream happen on winding? Sorry, on Belaya? I'm trying to remember. I don't even know if bream are at Belaya, but I feel like they might be. And then every once in a while a spot pops up, or am I wrong on that? I'm second guessing myself. I guess every once in a while you can get stirlet, but that's pretty rare as well. You could go for, you know, like roach or crucian gibble, that kind of stuff on the other side, but I don't know. Unless it's a really good, happens to be a good spot at that time, that's probably not normally worth it. Yeah, burbot's probably your safest choice. Although there's a lot of times, at least for me at Belaya, where, you know, you might only catch one or two burbot a night. Just depends on how hot it is or how good it is. I think that's the biggest roach of the day, maybe. Yeah, I think if I did this again, I'd probably try 10s and 12s and see how that goes. Um, but the most interesting time to fish here will be at first light. I, I mean, I wish I had time and didn't have to go do work because, you know, 4, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., all the way till probably 8 or 9. You would think you'd probably get two or three, four blue dream during that time if, if you're lucky. So that, that would be the most interesting time to fish this spot. But overall, it's not bad. I mean, you're getting waves of Vimba coming in some roach uh schools of white eye bream seem to be coming through the occasional blue bream and then the annoying chub and who knows there might be another species or two if we you know were patient and stayed there long enough again just a lot of variety and at least so far nothing that has really been too scary i mean if you happen to hit like a trophy chub or something you probably have to fight it a little bit but Oh, look at this Vimba order. That's nice. So there's 20 silver. We actually can get the chub order. So that's 51. So that's 71 silver. You would easily get the white eye bream if you fish there long enough. That's another 110 silver. I mean, another 40. So that would be 110 plus just on the random cafe orders. We're sitting at about 70. Let's see how much we can get from the regular fish market here, plus another 70. So that's 140, potential of 180 silver in uh, less than half an hour. So again, like you're not always going to have the cafe orders. I mean, I'm not saying it's like reliably that much every hour, but it adds up. Those little blue bream and other bream species add up, and then you've got those roach just like 
you know, like the tortoise, just consistently giving you a couple silver every fish. So it does add up. But anyway, 71, 100 Volkov, 25 meter clip, tight lines, everybody. Hopefully I'll see you again some more tonight, but uh, I'm just going to have to see how work goes. Till next time.